Hello and welcome to the Play Versus 2021 Fall Season, and we are in the NYS Bosa State Championship. Two teams have battled it all the way through to get here, and now it's going to be a matchup between the Mohan State Rocket League Warriors and the WHS Wizard Rocket League Blue Squad. I'm the Doxology. Alongside me is Bass and Bass. Both of these teams, they've had a long journey and a long season to get here. And now this is where it all comes down to a best of seven series. Indeed it does. And I'm excited to get into this one here, especially considering the battle that these teams have had to go through to get here at the end. As is with every single playoffs we have had, they've had to go through multiple rounds of best of fives and best of sevens to get here. And finally, now we end with the top two dogs. It is Mohan State versus the Wizards. And oh my, oh my, am I excited to get into this one. It's going to be great. I love the fact that Play Versus sets such a great season, and then they give you this finals every single season. It, it, it just amplifies the competition, and you get to see players continue to grow and elevate their gameplay. And so I'm really excited to see some of that. And then not only that, a best of seven series gives you uh, some chaos in game one and game two without dropping, you know, to that point where you're on an elimination, you know, situation. So what are we going to expect here in this game one, Bass? Honestly, I'm expecting chaos. Last time we didn't necessarily get chaos and it kind of seemed like one of the two teams was just a little bit more prepared here. So I'm not going to be surprised if the team that's on top comes into this one and all of a sudden has a game plan out the gates. But I'm also not going to be surprised if we just see insanity back and forth. Usually game one is a feeling out period. The teams settle their nerves, figure out what type of play style they want to run with and then start to develop themselves. So Docs, I got to hope here we have a methodical game number one, but considering the usual circumstances, I'm expecting a little bit of chaos. Oh, I love the chaos. And I want one team to just come out. I want demos. I want demos. I want to see some action. Shots on goal right off the bat. I don't want them to waste any time. They've got a game to give. Why not try your absolute best? As game number one in this best of seven series is off to the races and ready to go. WHS in the orange and MHS is in the white. You see them kind of already starting to pick up some of that boost and, and ramp up those nerves and try to calm everything down and just go for it. 
Oh, you gotta love it. An immediate out the gates offense here from MHS. They are going to try and find themselves an early lead here. And again, as we've seen already here today, and is the case usually in Rocket League, the first team to score always carries themselves a little bit differently from there on out. You get momentum in your side, you get confidence in your side, which is especially necessary here at the championship level. You hear this a lot. Docs, I know you've heard this statement before. Oh, this looks like... All right, well, this is an inopportune time for me to say this looks like black <laughs> gameplay, but it's because of the nerves. What may seem like simple stuff like the aerial like that is all the more complicated when there's so much on the line. And well, apparently one team knows that more than the other warriors on top. Absolute beautiful goal to start things off. And now with 417 remaining in this game one, those first a few second jitters. You know, the first minutes of this competition, you might have gone through your warm up. You might have set, uh, you know, your 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 earphones on and had kind of some music playing going through it. And now you got to get to the meat of the gameplay. You've got to set up those rotations, communicate with your team. And I think these teams are both ready for it. The way that they've already kind of been able to go back and forth and already a goal dropped in. Uh, it's quite exciting as you see that clear come through for the WHS squad as they kind of get it out on their own attack. And Bass, when it comes to kind of getting back, you see Oni already getting back on the defensive side of things. I, I like to see those type of rotations. Yeah, I like this. It's a very calm and collected game, number one. We were expecting a little bit of chaos, but it doesn't seem like anybody wants to try and fight into that here. They're seemingly playing this one a little bit more methodically, and as a result, we have a pretty tentative back and forth here going into the back half of this series, or excuse me, of this game. Two minutes of gameplay gone here so far. The Warriors are the only team to strike, but the Wizards have been starting to get some offense together. Unfortunately, right now, though, they're susceptible, excuse me, to a whole lot of defensive errors here. The pin is starting to set in and this is more the chaos we were expecting with this much pressure out of the warriors <gasps> eventually something should crack and indeed it will the wizards with a beautiful on the line save but no clear was found and it's two to zero i mean when, when you're just uh, that close there were so many shots that almost fell in at one point that ball looked like it was 98 percent past the line and somehow bounced out and then finally followed through and a great job by moen state to just follow through and follow through and follow through until they knocked it home a two goal lead and we're not even halfway through game one Oh my, oh my, this is everything we could have hoped for it here. And crazy enough, it's already a pretty overwhelming lead, though. MHS doing a good job at getting a third goal now as well. This team, we said they would come out the gates firing, and my, oh my, have they done that? All cylinders blazing, and all of a sudden, they've got a strong lead. I love that pass from Sonic over to Johannesburg. Like, like that setup was perfect. It was just absolutely perfect to get across and get the defense to bite just a little bit and then a 62 mile an hour shot. Nobody's gonna get to that. That's a power shot right there. And into the corner, a three goal lead with 225 remaining in game one. I, I mean, when I look at the Warriors and what they're doing, uh, I mean, they're just playing really, really consistent. Looks like they've already gone through their warmups. No jitters in the first game. They're playing like it's game three, four, five. A hundred percent. And that's how you really sort of set the tone in a series like this is come out the gates with a game plan and execute upon it perfectly. And the crazy thing about it is, is that the Wizards are not playing poorly or not executing their game plan, but it just kind of feels like a mismatch here. The Wizards want to play this one patiently. They're trying to find some open space to develop some plays. Meanwhile, the Warriors just aren't giving them that. They're suppressing it every time, getting in their face and really playing this nuisance play style that has become the meta in Rocket League over the last year. As a result, they're frustrated. They are getting attacked from every single angle, and they got to figure out a way to try and slow this down. If they want to have a slow pace of play, that is fine, but in order to do so, you need to slow down your opponents, and right now, the Wizards can't seem to get a grip here. 90 seconds left, not a single goal on the board. I've got faith in them to turn this one around, but a goal going out of this game would be huge for their confidence. I mean, and, and it is game one in a best of seven series. Another shot opportunity. Oni tries to get it cleared out. Going up for it. Just missed it on the offense. Oh my gosh, this ball needs to get cleared out. And you just see MHS continue to apply that pressure. It is just game one. So it, it, it doesn't really drop you too far. You can regroup and respond in game two. We've seen it happen where, where we've had, you know, the first game drop. And then the next four go to the opposing team that lost that first game. So it's all about response and being able to control your emotions and keep that momentum from building up so much that you can't come back from it, which is what we saw in the prior 
state championship earlier today in the ghsa was really the team that got out quickly at the beginning they just kept that momentum and carried it all the way through a 4-0 sweep in this game we've got 30 seconds left bass and it's looking like all moan state warriors Oh, 100%. Right now, with 20 seconds left, it's not looking like there's much of a chance for a comeback here. Matter of fact, it's actually impossible. But again, it's a goal for the road that they're looking for right now. The Wizards just want to get on the board and show that they can score when necessary. And this is going to be a necessary moment. The last chance. Oh, game! And the shot will hit the back of the net. Nick finally opened up the score line here for the Wizards. And you need that. You, you know, just like you said, we, we call it sometimes, you know, putting a tourniquet on or stopping the bleeding, right? That really does help stop that forward momentum of your opponent just feeling like they can do whatever they want with the passes. They can create those shot opportunities or, or they can keep it past midfield. Uh, I mean, all of those things take place. And now with that final goal, it kind of switches the momentum in a lot of ways over to the Wizards. But the MHS Warriors, I mean, they did such an incredible job through and through. Uh, Ariel with a beautiful shot here. Uh, I mean, that's just kind of how you take it to the house. A 3-1 victory for them in game one. Moving into game two now, Bass. I, I mean, what, what do you do if you're the Wizards and how do you keep this going? Uh, the big thing is just don't give up when it comes to this aggression. The main reason, in my opinion, that we're seeing the Warriors do such a good job here is they're putting on pressure, continually putting shot after shot after shot. And even if there are good saves on the line, they've got someone there that's prepared to follow it up. And that's what we need to see right now, I would say, out of the Wizards here, is that we are seeing some decent shots on target, but it usually comes at the cost of a solo play. Solo plays are great, but they're not very effective. It's better to take a shot, leave the rotation, go pick up some of that boost in one of the corners, start to starve the team and let one of your teammates keep that pressure going a good rotation can really make or break a team and right now it kind of just feels like the rotations here for the warriors are just a little bit more precise than their opponents i would agree with that but i do think because you have that uh, uh, allowance of an extra game or two in this being a best of seven instead of a best of five or a best of three it gives you a, a little bit extra time to kind of warm up to the speed of your opponents and then respond really strong so i'm expecting you know, WHS, I'm expecting the Wizards to, to come out and be able to kind of control the pacing just a little bit more. I want to see them pick up that midfield boost, right? Pick up that midfield control so you can get a shot on goal and then have a secondary person come up for that rebound shot. The second and third chance goals that really end up following, uh, you know, into the back of the net. Those are the ones that really are the most potent against a good defense is you don't just hit them with one. You hit them with two, three, and four shots at the same time. That's a big thing here is just continually getting that pressure. And like you said, shot after shot after shot after shot, ripping on target, and eventually you will find a crack. Usually Rocket League, oh my word, I was going to say, not defined by the offenses, but how well the defense stands up. And uh, this time, defense can stand as tall as it wants. No one's stopping this shot from Johan. I mean, it, again, it, when you're setting yourself up, you get those secondary opportunities to, to just power it home. And when you're set up like that, you don't have to worry too, too much about it. You see uh, a sub in for uh, Joseph coming in. I, I mean, you set things up and you really want to kind of get those cleared out. You kind of have to attack those along the boards and open up your goal just a little bit because your goal is to clear it as far as you can instead of allowing it to be rebounded and then shot into the back of the net. And here we've got another long shot that's going to go wide and it's going to hit that corner. That was a dangerous opportunity. Now Joseph clearing it out. Let's go. We'll see if they can create some offense here. That's a shot. It goes Ooh. wide. Joseph on the attack and you got to love the aggression. I love using the full boost, playing it off the back wall. And now you see Oni following it all the way back. He's going to try to clear it up. His team calls him off and now they are on the attack. Johannesburg, just a nice physical chip right there that knocked him off of his track of what he wanted to do and made it so hard for that pass to be completed. That could have been a goal, but great defense by Johannesburg. I'd love to see some more physicality get involved for both of these teams here. Not a lot of demos, not a lot of bump plays, but again, it's still game number two. That feeling out period hasn't quite dissipated. And my oh my, you can see how it has to stay like that here. The teams have got to be careful. They get too complacent, get too comfortable. All of a sudden, a shot can rip into the back of the net. And we can have a completely different scoreline for the Wizards. They're kind of hoping for that now. They're going into halftime, down one to zero here. And if they lose this game, Docs, that's their second game in a row. At that point, they're really 
really going to have to claw their way back and find some momentum. It's not an impossible position to come back from, but it's definitely not the place that the Wizards want to be in. No, but it is just a 1-0 game. We're halfway through game number two. So it doesn't feel necessarily as uh, one-sided as it did the first game. Mm -hmm. It really did feel like MHS was just on the attack, on the attack, on the attack, on the attack. But this time, it kind of does feel like WHS is kind of creating a little bit more spacing. And they've had some good shots. There's a shot that goes just high for MHS. And honestly, that was dangerous for uh, the Wizards. The defense couldn't quite get there. But they walked away with it. You get the extra defender in the back wall helping out. And Oni comes out to clear that along the midfield. A midfield boost was picked up by the MHS players. So that's going to be two people who are taking the shot. And Johan right now is feeling it with another goal for the Warriors as they take a two-goal lead now with just a few minutes to go in this game number two. Oh my, oh my. This is an impressive game after such a close game number one. Again, three to one score line still does seem like it's pretty much in favor of the Warriors here, but I'd almost argue that they're playing better here because they haven't let in a goal again. It was in the last 30 seconds of the game where finally the Wizards were able to strike. So the fact that they're able to keep them out and just not allow them that offensive pressure for what feels like so many minutes at a time, this is impressive to put it simply. The question is whether or not they can keep this up. They're they're still trying to get some more goals on the board here. Two to zero apparently isn't enough. Let's make it three. Not if Nick has anything to say about, say about it, though. Save on the line. We'll keep it out for now. But what about the follow-up to the backboard? It goes in Johannesburg looking for the shot. Cannot find it. But again, unrelenting pressure that just never stops from the Warriors. I mean, they're just continuing. And you got to credit Joseph. Big Joe is what they're calling him in chat. They're, they're saying, that, you know, he's one of the players who's coming in and really helped out. He shored up some of this defense. But again, an open goal opportunity here. What in the world? That was almost a save by Big Joe in the goal. I didn't know he was even going to get that angle. You see him just kind of follow through. And a good job by the offense to just follow it through and make sure that you know what if anything had happened if that had been chipped out that would have been a miraculous save by joe yeah, but unfortunately it wasn't enough and all of a sudden we find ourselves at a three to zero score line but again this midfield presence we talked about before this is why it's so important if you have this back and forth gameplay where it's just going end to end on repeat one person cuts their rotation out of midfield and that disrupts everything people just aren't going to expect it and if you can be that surprise element for a squad it can lead you to victory and well it's looking like it's going to lead the warriors to victory for the second time in a row another three goal game for the team this time though they're eyeing up a shutout. They don't want to allow that late second goal for the Wizards that gave the momentum the first time, but they're going to have to be careful. 18 seconds left on the clock, and the Wizards are approaching another offense. You guys spoke too soon. Sonic up for this one, tries to slam it off the backboard, but I think at this point, it's just a bit of a formality. This one goes back into the air, back into the backboard, shot barely off target from a rather interesting angle from V11 Aerial, but the results are the same. The Warriors take their second game in a row, this time in shutout fashion. Yeah, 3-0, excellent gameplay from the Warriors. And one of the things I noticed with Wizards is they, they started off with a strong defense, but one, one goal drop, it kind of opened up those shot opportunities a little bit more. You see Johannesburg just absolutely capitalizing on every one of those shots. You see him carry through. That was a very unique move by him. I thought he was going to just power at home, but instead... Uh, he just kind of let it trickle through. Nobody was there to be able to get it. Joseph almost had an epic and incredible, miraculous save. But now, if you're the Wizards, you're down two. It's a best of seven. You can take it to six games and win the next four. Uh, you do have one more game to technically give up before you're on elimination. So uh, my advice to them, start with one. Get that goal. Get it back. I know you've only scored one goal in this series so far, and it came late in game one. You need to get at least one goal and start from there to kind of just build upon that. Yeah, that's the big thing. It's just get that momentum started here. It really does seem like a simpler task than it is because the reality is here is, is that when you have a team that is doing so well on offense and defense, both, it really can be hard to find that spark of life, to find the catalyst that gets you going. So we have to see it. I would say it's now or never here. Like you said, they technically have another game to give, but Docs, I know you've casted Rocket League before, and I think I can speak for both, uh, both of us when I say best of sevens are a very, or 
excuse me, best of seven reverse sweeps are a very large rarity. You very, very infrequently see them. I, yeah, I've seen a, a reverse uh, sweep of a best of five, but a best of seven, especially at this level of gameplay, it's so difficult to not only put yourself in the position to be able to come back and, and fight through, uh, but winning all of those games in a row, unless you create that momentum in the first two games and then you're able to carry that through and the other team isn't able to respond, there's so many things that go into it that really uh, make it difficult to create those. But I want to see Big Joe here on the attack, and he's doing the right thing. He's playing it off the wall. He's getting it semi-centered up, and there's a shot, and that's exactly what they need to do. Nick powers at home, set up by Big Joe, and that is a good, good start for the Wizards to cauterize the wound, to fix what is necessarily needed to be fixed, and start on their attack, their first lead of this series. And the Wizards... I mean, that was only, what, 16 seconds off the clock? A good job by them. Yeah, barely any time off the clock there, but that is how you need to start a game when you are down 2-0 to zero in the series. The Wizards have found some life in them, and they have found a light at the end of the tunnel, but that could be very soon extinguished. Oh my, oh my, I'm getting a little bit nervous as the Warriors approach yet another offense, and that's got to be incredibly deflating. If the Warriors find themselves a response within that same minute that we saw this lead from the Wizards, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and start to do some real critical thinking if they want to try and stay in this. This one and one of the things i noticed is oni's been subbed out for sir's sorcerer so that might be a more defensive player who's able to kind of create some of those midfield shots or the at least the midfield clears to open up shots for big joe to get involved because we've seen him play very well so far nick also with that last goal we're gonna see if he's able to keep it in the attacking zone no instead they're gonna have to trickle back on the defense you see sorcerers there that gets cleared out joseph can't hit it which means it's just going to stay in their defending zone. They've got to clear it out. they got to find something here to just alleviate this pressure. Again, this is the play style the Warriors have been going with all day. Unrelenting pressure, shot after shot after shot, until eventually they find a crack, and boy, oh boy, do they pry through it with a goal almost every time. Oh, but speaking of a goal every time, here's a good opportunity. The Wizards might actually be able to double their lead this time. Joseph... Uh, trying to take a shot. They're a little bit lackluster, a bit of a mistouch, and unfortunately it's now going to lead way to a counterattack here from the Warriors instead. Back and forth and back and forth. Again, this is kind of what we are expecting, but unfortunately the expectations here were that this was going to be another game where the Warriors would find themselves at least a goal. We're almost halfway through this one, and Docs, there's not a goal on the board here for them. Yeah, I mean, the Wizards have done a great job shoring up their defense, but not only that, they've kind of stopped Johan. Johannesburg has not been mm -hmm. able to create those opportunities that he created in game one and two, where they were able to take that victory 3-1 and 3-0. At this point, Sonic needs to kind of clear it out a little bit more and make sure that he's on the attack. You see him get really jammed up by Sorcerer, and that's the, the off-ball, out-of-the-box movement that creates more difficult attacks when you're able to kind of disrupt what the player wants to do on offense. Maybe he was going to come in and then clear it into the corner. Maybe he was going to try to center it up. But either way, that's immediately taken away when you're able to do this. Sorcerer picks up that midfield boost. Is he going to be able to get to it in the corner? He's going for it. He's going to play it off the wall. That's going to get chipped up at Sonic nicely with a little 360 move to kind of just swing back around and chip it out of their offensive zone. That was in the box. That could have been an attacking opportunity for the, the Wizards, but instead, it's gonna go the Warriors way right here. 150 remaining in this game three of the NYS Bosa State Championship. This is a great back and forth so far here. And like you said, it's for the championship. So this game is all the more important for the Wizards. They realize how much is on the line and how much pressure is going to go into this one. And if they go down three to zero, you can guarantee nerves are going to become a huge factor. So let's see, can they avoid that three to zero? Can they hold on here and make it two to one? Only time will tell. Like you said, 80 seconds left on the clock, but I will say this, the Warriors starting to get some decent offense together here. They're playing this very methodically, just kind of booming this into their opponent's half and slowly starving them into, of their boost until, well, I was going to say, they should get an opportunity, but maybe it's one of the other end. Nick sets this up for Sorcerer, but not able to find the shot. And now a chance for Johannesburg to go the other way. One minute remaining here, and Docs, there's absolutely a chance we see an overtime. There is a chance that we see an overtime, but Sorcerer right now is doing such a good job of keeping that midfield 
uh, possession and you get that midfield boost and it allows you to swing back around. There's a big demo by Big Joe. And now that kind of opens up some of this time. You know, you eat up some of this time and it makes it very difficult. Oh, but there's oh. a top down shot. What a save and another shot and a big save. You see Nick coming out of the goal, but he can't get to it. Ariel finally trickles in. And that was a absolute madhouse in the box. A fun zone with mirrors everywhere. Players going left, right, up, down, back, forth, trying to find the saves. And finally, we have a tie a game with 32 seconds remaining. Oh my, oh my. Tie game, 30 seconds remaining. And all of a sudden, the Warriors now in a position to possibly go 3-0 and zero on the series. They get one step closer to a sweep, and you know that they now have the motivation to do so. But the shots, they do not miss on the offense. So they'll have to go back once again. But with 10 seconds left, there's probably only time for one more offense. And it could be the one to decide it. Shot not going to arrive. The Wizards see an open net, but can't quite catch up. No boost left in the tank, so I think we might just be slotted for an overtime. Indeed, we do. 2-0 to zero in favor of the Warriors, but they win this. They go on a series point. Docs, there's so much on the line. I mean, extra time is one of the best things in Rocket League, especially in the championship competition when you set things up that could have been a beautiful shot and nick was able to kind of tuck under and watch his teammate just absolutely blast it out of that zone 20 seconds already in sorcerer that's gonna pop up can nick get up to it instead they're gonna let sonic go up for it you see the two defenders go back and now big joe tries to clear it into the corner but ariel is taking it the other way this is a long clear it's gonna have to be tucked out into the outside but again another center off ball move Movement. Oh my goodness, it hit the post. It's floating, but somehow Nick was able to just control it long enough and the handles coming out of zone. And now Ariel finally getting back into the defensive position was able to clear it out. That was incredible, Bass incredible gameplay so far here in about a minute of overtime and we are still no closer to figuring out who is the winner here end to end here but wait here's a chance sonic sets this up his teammate cannot get the ball though the pass just a little bit too powerful so now the warriors will retreat and try to restart yet again but sonic has to endure some shots first here come the wizards they've got an offense and they've got a goal game on the board and all of a sudden that sweep is no longer a possibility what a response by the Wizards. Their defense stood strong. Sorcerer came in, really shored up some of that defense for them. They were also able to create some of those shot opportunities that we hadn't seen in the prior games. But Joseph getting it to Nick, Nick following it up, and then just the back and forth, the continuation of the back and forth was so good. The rotations were much, much better. I know you mentioned it after game one. You needed to see the Wizards on a better rotation. Uh, I mean, honestly, Bass, that was a much, much better game from the Wizards. And I'm excited to see what they do with that momentum moving into game four. Are we going to see them tie it up in the series and possibly go all seven games? Or are we going to see them just absolutely turn it on and maybe win it in the next Three, I am so excited. I am extremely excited, especially because of who scored that last goal. I'm not sure if you noticed, Docs, but Super Sub himself came through there and finally was able to find some sort of goal, some sort of offensive presence. Sorcerer doing a great job at just getting involved and really showing that, hey, Super Subs can be impactful. I'm interested to see if they bring Oni back into this one. So far, it's not looking like it, and I think we're going to rock with the same roster as before. So let's see. Can we get another good back and forth here in game number four? I I'd say this one's another really necessary game for the warrior or for excuse me for the wizards yes they have finally got a game on the board but they need to take two and even out this series absolutely and and one of the things i absolutely love about the wizards is they do have that depth of chart i mean they have the ability to dip into their subs as this is an open oh. goal opportunity for Sonic just following that through. Caught the defense on a rotation, trying to pick up some of that boost. You see Big Joe is all the way on the other side. His teammates are on the side of the field. Can't quite get to it. And so a quick goal for MHS and the Warriors already lead with just 31 seconds down in this game number four. 
but I love having that many subs and it's a it's a real testament to the school and the program that they're building having that many players who are able to play and you can really kind of tailor your offense and defense to the teams you play against because a lot of times you only have three maybe four at most with one sub that's going to sub in and play pretty much all positions but then you have two subs now that we've seen for the Wizards really kind of be able to come in and shore up the defense and create those offensive movements. So it's really exciting to see. This has been a very exciting game number four, especially because it seems like the Warriors are back into this one. An early goal for them means that they're going to be able to probably play this one with a little bit more confidence than before. So again, you look at the previous game, I feel like they still played that one evenly, but they just didn't have as much aggression as before. That aggression really does come from confidence. When you're feeling like you can score at any moment, you're going to die for a lot more of those balls that you normally wouldn't have. Those risks aren't going to seem as risky to you, and you're just going to keep on trying. So I like this. The Warriors back into this game. Look a lot stronger than before but unfortunately for them with three and a half minutes almost left on the clock this is not surefire whatsoever uh oh but if you get double commits like that they just might the wizards and have to thank their lucky stars there their third man played that risk he came up had that double commit had happened without that third man going up i'm pretty sure that would have been a counterattack, another goal in favor of the warriors yeah it was a, a very close shot just a little bit wide and now you see Sonic trying to clear this midfield. And I really do believe that midfield control is probably one of the most important things. Being able to keep it in your attacking zone by not getting it cleared out allows you to not have to rotate his back as far. And when you think about it, you're like, it's just going back and forth. Uh, you know, maybe that's what they need to do. But it's the utilization of boost back and forth and back and forth where you're not able to use that boost for shots, passes, demos, or right there we see a couple car bumps in the corner by Big Joe. And that's exactly what you need to open up the defense and have some of those 2v1s turn into a 2v0 or a 2v2 turn into a 2v1. And that's exactly what they're looking for. Sonic just kind of taps it. That's going to be met by Sorcerer getting it cleared out. 2-10 remaining in this game number four. Bass, this has been a really technically good game from both of these teams. Yeah, this has been a very even game. We're not seeing as many mistakes. It's an unfortunate time to talk about that as Nick, I'm pretty sure, was not going for that touch. But overall, the teams are playing very precise. It feels like the nerves have finally started to calm here, and we're seeing a lot more methodical gameplay with each team kind of just taking their turns at executing attacks. The unfortunate thing is that when you have a back and forth like this, it usually favors the team that's in the lead because they don't really start to feel any pressure. They just go, okay, another shot at us. Boom it out, alleviate pressure start an offense of our own and back and forth and back and forth it goes the only way i see the wizards getting through here in a scenario like this is if we see a defensive mistake out of the warriors but considering how consistent they're playing i don't know if it's gonna come they're gonna have to get creative here as we enter the last 90 seconds of this game if they don't find something special i don't know if they're gonna be able to hold on here and we might just see the warriors on series point i mean we saw it before it was 30 seconds basically remaining in the game where the Warriors tied things oh. up and it went into overtime. So we don't even have to get that far before Nick trickles this one in. It's a one minute, 10 seconds remaining in this game. We're all tied up. So we might see extra time two games in a row, Bat. I mean, you see just the continuation of the following through uh, and a great job by the Wizards to not give up. 70 seconds remain in this game. 70 seconds remain. The question is whether or not we're going to stay at a tied scoreline. Enough time that one of the two teams could absolutely avoid overtime and end it in regulation. And it could be the Warriors right here. They're approaching another offense, and they've got a ball dribbling out of the corner. Sonic's there for the follow-up shot on target, and that's into the back of the net. Warriors regain the lead with under a minute to play. I mean, right place, right time. Good off-ball movement of recognizing where it is. You see the player just couldn't quite get to it. And you see Ariel now and, and the way that they're playing seems like they don't want to have to go into an overtime situation. They want to grab that goal and then take the lead. But what in the world? I, I mean, right as I'm talking, I mean, talk about the caster curse being real. You start talking about no mistakes, mistakes are made. I start talking about goal scored and they just continually go back and forth as Joe just sneaks that one in. So uh, at this point, who knows, 46 seconds left. <laughs> I, it could go into overtime at 3-3. I don't even know.
Uh, honestly, 3-3 three, three overtime at this point seems like it's actually going to make the most sense considering how nonsense this game has been. But you got to love nonsense, man. When you get into this chaos, you never really know what to expect. And I can tell you one thing for certain. I have no idea who's coming out on top here. 30 seconds left. It could be either one of these teams. It could be here in regulation. It could be in overtime. But if Sonic can get flicks like that, they could end it right here, right now. MHS approaching another offense. And with 20 seconds left, this could be the last one all game. But Sonic, that's not the greatest touch. Joseph will get in the way. But wait a minute. This is open. Sonic shot on target. And once again, the Warriors will take the lead. I mean, Sonic is a menace. You see him get one touch. Two touches right here. I love that little turn. It was so smart to get turned all the way through so you get the meat of that car to be able to power to the opposite side. No defender can get to it. And now with a one goal lead, 10 seconds remaining. But does Nick get a shot on goal? That's going to go just wide. Good defense. But again, Joseph is there to kind of try to pop it up. They need to get this live. That's going to go high. Now it's triple zeros. Will this ball touch down? Yes, they're going to let it touch down. And game number four goes to the Warriors. It was a close one, but it was a good, good game between the two. A lot closer than you would think. And now on really match point, the Warriors go into this next game. I think they lay it all on the line. They've got a game to give and they can still sit on match point. I think they go just all in, all aggression. I have to imagine so, especially considering it does seem like when the Warriors are confident and aggressive, that's by far when they play the best. So you look at the last game, it was a little bit shaky here to start off with, but the fact is, is that they closed it out when it mattered. They found the momentum, they found that confidence and just kept putting on that aggression. Again, I really think that Sonic's play at the end there is a perfect way to epitomize what this team is going for there. Nuisance play in the box. Once they get a shot, they are not letting you out of that box easily. And that's why the Warriors currently have a three to one lead on the series docs this is going to be difficult i think the wizards can make a comeback but they really have to show it here in game number five if they don't come out the gates firing this might just be the end of the series uh yeah they've they've got to get that quick early goal like they did in game three that oh. kind of allowed them to play a well and sorcerer as i talk about it literally it happens uh i definitely used some magic there to beat out the defense and just pop right over two defenders. Sonic can't get back to it or make that save. But a one goal lead now for the Wizards. They've got to hang on to this and they've got to continue this momentum as they're trying to fight back to force not only a game six, but also go into a game seven uh, if they're able to take that one as well. So they've got a long way to go, but it is possible. But Sonic wasting no time whatsoever says uh, anything you can do, I can do better and just pops another goal into the back of the net. Sonic has played so clean throughout this whole series. Again, nuisance play to a T. Sonic probably didn't need to go for that ball, and I guarantee you the Wizards were not expecting him to go for that ball. You see Johannesburg behind him coming in at Mach 7 speeds. You're expecting him to go up and take the shot. So when Sonic all of a sudden pops up and just says, nah, I'm going to slam this one home, the defense is frazzled and doesn't know what to do. Heads up play, and again, the Warriors with this nuisance play style. Get in your face and get you annoyed, and it looks fantastic. The question is whether or not the Wizards are going to find a response here because they need one. Game number five, they lose this. It's the end of the series. So that early goal we saw, that momentum that went in their favor, I have a feeling it's all but erased right now, Docs. Yeah, I mean, they've got to get a shot on goal. I thought that was going to be a shot. Nick tried to utilize all of the boost that he had to get it redirected to center up for the shot on goal. Now they've got to get back. You see Joseph looking for the long clear from his teammate, but instead is going to have to kind of pick up that midfield play. Joseph now... Getting a shot on goal. Instead, it's going to be bounced out to the corner. Nick not giving up on it, and I absolutely love this. You never, ever, ever give up on it. Sorcerer now with some nice boost control in the air. A little double touch, but the oh. defense of Sonic is there. But Nick with the lag play, and I absolutely love it. We talk about the first shot. We talk about getting those rebound shots, and then the second and thirds that drop into the back of the net. The defense bites on the first. They get the stop. But Nick comes through with a beautiful rebound goal. 2-1 with 3.38 remaining. That is a huge goal as well, especially because of the risks that were involved. No risks here. It's just the kickoff goal, plain as day. But it's an important one because now they've got a little bit of a safety net. 3-1 to one in favor of the Wizards, and they can take a deep breath of relief. Yeah, you need that quick momentum shift, and that's huge 
for Nick to be able to kind of just kind of sneak that one in. And again, it, we see it happen a lot on the kickoff goals because sometimes it doesn't matter how you plan it. That ball just goes into an awkward position where another teammate Ooh. is able to get to it. There's a big save by Sonic. Nick was coming in quick. Sorcerer is still just on the attack now. I mean, really, really on the attack. And you love to see that aggression where they start to feel it. You got a two goal lead and now is where you kind of want to make that statement. So the momentum is in your favor going into the next few minutes of gameplay because they still have to carry through three minutes of gameplay against a very, very good Warriors team. Yeah, this is not locked in at all. No way set in stone, especially when you start to see the aggression come out here from the Warriors. They're trying their best to suppress it, but unfortunately, you know shots are eventually going to come, but maybe not. The Warriors take a huge retreat here and just give time and space out of midfield for the Wizards to set up a play. And again, this is where we've seen the Warriors really struggle. We look back to game number three, the one that they ended up losing, and it felt like they lost because they immediately got scored upon and then started getting passive when this team is aggressive they are by far the best when they get passive and they start to allow this free space in the air and they're no longer running with that nuisance play style they just end up giving too much momentum and too much time for the wizards to set up play so they got to get in the face of their opponents they got to start getting aggressive just like that but maybe a little bit too much ariel going for the bump but instead finds the redirect but what about here ricochets off the bar and the follow-up is saved the wizards hold tight for now for now, as the Warriors are still on oh. the attack. Oh, no! Sonic is credited as you just see them set this up. Look at Johan just carry that all the way through up top. And then <laughs> Sonic comes up and basically takes it from his own teammate and powers not only his teammate, but also the ball into the back of the net. It's a one-goal game with 153 remaining. This is huge right now if they're able to trickle that in oh my gosh that's a big save by joseph as johannesburg Ooh. comes in top bar down in here we go it's a tie game with 146 remaining and this is why you can never count out the warriors that never say die attitude has propelled them to yet another tied ball game as we move in to the final two minutes of this one and what could be the final two minutes of the championship if the warriors can complete the comeback they complete the series and walk home the nys bosis winners but there are no guarantees at this point with a minute 30 left on the clock this is either team's ball game but uh oh that's an awkward touch oh johan catches goodness. the defense by Surprise, oh my surprise, MHS up by one. There we go. I mean, this is the, the dominant performance that we saw in game one and two where they started feeling it and then they just controlled everything. I've been so impressed with coming from being down by one to being ahead by one with 130 remaining. Now, by no means are they just chilling in the lead here because it is just a one goal game. We've seen the back and forth. We've seen the goals drop with 30 seconds remaining and the extra time already. So they're looking to get another one. Here's Ariel coming up. He's going to aggress this into the corner. Zero boost to his name. So he's going to have to float down. But he's met by his teammate, Johannesburg. Joe is able to clear it out. And now Sorcerer going the opposite way. You see the defense come through. Ariel on both sides of the ball. Doing a phenomenal job. Clears it. One minute remaining. And here we go, Bass. Oh my, I don't know what else to say at this point. With a minute remaining at this point, we might as well let the gameplay speak for itself because the Wizards need it to do so. They need a goal just to survive. With 45 seconds left, they are pressing. But Joseph, he doesn't want to approach this one out in midfield. He doesn't want to play the risk. But my friend, you got to play risky now. It is now or never. Send everything, the kitchen sink included, at your opponents because if you do not, this is the end of the day for this WHS squad. The Wizards Wizards trying to avoid the end of the series and are approaching yet another offense, but Nick needs a good shot. He will find one, and it will not hit the back of the net, but the follow-up will. Joseph ties us up with 17 seconds remaining. You play until the whistle is what it said in so many sports, right? Until it's in the back of the net and until triple zeros and even beyond, you keep playing 17 seconds we're tied at 4-4 four, four. 
we're going to see if we're going to get a little bit more extra Rocket League. I love free Rocket League as oh. Sonic is trying to clear it out. Oh. He comes around. Is it going to be met by the attack of Sorcerer? It is, but that's chipped all the way through the final seconds. That might tip down. It does, and we're into extra time. Yet another overtime, but this one could be even more important than the last. The last one resulted in the Wizards getting their first game on the board. This one could result in the last game of the series. The Warriors take this. They close it out in five, with the Wizards trying to extend the series and keep their championship dreams alive. Only time will tell who comes out on top, but for right now, it's the Wizards who look like they've got a better offense. I spoke a bit too soon, retreating into their own half, but Nick will set them up yet again. Sonic, though, booming clear, sends it the other way. <gasps> That's Double commit, though. This could be an open net shot. Not on target. Johannesburg with a chance to close out the series. But the shot is wide. I mean, he wants it back. 40 seconds into extra time. He wants another opportunity. He says run it back one more. Johannesburg is now going to have to play a lot of defense to get this cleared out. As here comes the Wizards. They're going to take a couple shots and try to get it cleared into the corner. You see Johannesburg pick up that full boost. He's going to power it down for that bounce clear that's going to be played off the wall by sorcerer really wisely ariel's gonna throw it straight up but i like joe meeting it all the way near the ceiling he's going to come back down and try to clear this this is going to be a shot of goal oh my gosh what a save and another shot and another save but finally ariel is just coming with one two three four shots until finally they power it home and the warriors take game five and they are your nys bosa state champions an impressive impressive performance by them through and through and i absolutely love that it came down to overtime Oh, you can't ask for a better ending than that. Game seven would have been nice in a best of seven, but if we can't get there, we might as well get some overtimes in such dramatic fashion as well. We have to reiterate that never say die attitude for the Warriors is what, in my opinion, won them this. Two come from behind victories I can think of just off the top of my head, and there's a pretty good chance that I'm missing a couple others. So congratulations to the Warriors. To say that was well-deserved, Docs, that is an understatement absolutely and hats off to the wizards they performed so incredibly well all day long i loved that they did keep it close and they did get that overtime goal i mean that last game was it so incredibly exciting too just to watch them battle back and forth in game four and game five but your mohan state rocket league warriors are your champions there it is on the brackets you can see it there congratulations what an incredible season from these teams and i absolutely love that play versus sets up these um amazing tournaments in the season all throughout these teams play back and forth they get prepared and then this is the championship rocket league that i think everybody loves when you just see these players amplify their gameplay every single season yeah, that's the big thing here is, is that we keep talking about how game one is a warm-up period. And every once in a while, you get a series where it's okay. That warm-up period never really ends. This warm-up period barely began. Out the gates, we were firing. We had teams going back and forth and back and forth. And the Warriors, while we thought they might just run away with this thing after two straight, the fact we got an overtime and the Wizards taking a win in game three, it showed we had a battle on our hands. And it's a battle that delivered. Congratulations again to the Warriors for becoming their state champions. But my, oh my, what? What an incredible contest it was. It was an incredible contest and an incredible day. And I'm so glad that we were able to be here to cast it. Congratulations to all the players that played in not only this tournament, but also all throughout the season. Kudos to you and good luck next season. That's going to do it from us here at Play Versus. I'm the Doxology alongside Bass saying so long and take care.
Revolution, pull like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the, let out the, let out the. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. We take the west, I'll take on the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the, let out the, let out the. Yeah. I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but man's keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pan. If you wanna touch me, I'm free. Beg, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the. Let out the.